Just before we recorded this video, we hit 10,000 subscribers. So we just wanted to say a quick thank you. Without all you guys watching, we wouldn't be making these videos. Simple as that. Anyway, we're here to show you the best Kickstarter games of April. But just before we do, let's check how our games from March went with their campaigns. Things went pretty well for last month's games. They all got funded with the exception of our personal favourite, The Artful Escape of Francis Vendetti. But that's okay, because developers Beethoven and Dinosaur have indicated they'll persist with their game. So hopefully we'll see it in all its glory with the other games sometime in the future. Now, to the top 5. We start off with a game already funded in the form of Days of War. The pitch here is to revive the World War II FPS genre. Regular viewers may realise that sounds incredibly similar to Battalion 1944, another Kickstarter project we showed in March. Battalion 1944 is much prettier and got more funding, but overall we feel more convinced by Days of War. They've made it clear the focus is on skill and realism. There won't be any killstreak or 360 no scope nonsense. There are soldier classes such as rifleman, sniper, and rocket, and built in support for modding. On a side note, you've got to love how Russian, British, and French forces are all stretch goals, but the Americans, who only fought in the war for two and a half years, are going to be included in the game no matter what. God bless America. Is it the 1990s again? Well, the re-emergence of Denim Jackets and Quest of Souls will certainly have you asking that question. From its gameplay to its style, this throwback is all about recreating shoot 'em up RPGs of the 90s. For the initiated, it's basically a twin stick shooter with heaps of upgrades for abilities and items. What we really love about Quest of Souls is its zany personality. Take for instance its three playable characters, a Corgi Dragon Slayer, a Lizard Man Samurai, and a Lich playing for the good side. It should also be perfect for playing with others, with co-op for up to three, and competitive multiplayer. About a year and a half ago, we're out, we're eating lunch, we're having fun, we're talking about games. Um, as a team, some of us are saying they really love the survival games, and others of us are talking about MMOs, loot, character progression, and we decided it would be great if someone made a game that took the, the key elements and put them together in one game. And that's where Lux By the time this video hits, Lux's campaign will be over, and barring a miracle, it won't have hit its funding goal. We're not sure if Chimera Co. will persevere with the project, but considering they got a graphic novel for the game funded, and that Lux has some neat ideas, hopefully they will. So, Combining anyway, survival with MMO, Lux looks like an extra surreal don't starve with way more players. That's something we want to play, but we'll just have to wait and see how things pan out. Well, it's been a while. We all had something else to do. Far away from any contract or anything related to a conspiracy. I had enough of all this shit. I'm better in just taking care of myself. But, well, soldiers always remain soldiers. That's what this guy said a few days ago. I just met him by accident. I know I should remember. The critically acclaimed PlayStation series Fear Effect is returning with Fear Effect Sedna. About a year ago, Square Enix made some of its old and dormant IPs available to other developers. Sushi Games have taken full advantage of this and, to the delight of many gamers, decided to reboot Fear Effect. The original Fear Effects were set in a futuristic Hong Kong underworld and were famous for their cutscenes that were cutting edge at the time. Sedna will be keeping the setting and bringing back the original cast of characters, but the gameplay will be different. Instead of a variety of camera angles, things will be fixed to an isometric perspective, and cutscenes don't seem to be as embedded within the gameplay as the original. The voice acting in the trailer also sounded a bit off, but hopefully Sedna will prove to be a glorious return for Fear Effect. crash 
was just the beginning. Now we have to figure out how to survive. Arguably a bizarre cross between Eight Below and The Hateful Eight, The Wild Eight is an eerie survival adventure designed for co-op. A terrifying plane crash in the snowy wilderness of Alaska leaves eight survivors to fend off the conditions, hunger, and wild predators. Co-op really unlocks the magic of the game because it brings in the dynamics of teamwork. Will you pull together to find a way out, or will someone betray another survivor for a cannibalistic snack? The worlds are procedurally generated, and there are different endings dependent on what side quests you do. We haven't seen a lot of plot-driven games with a focus on small cooperative teams, and so we think the Wild 8 can fill a hole in the market. With a bit over three weeks to go, the game is halfway to its $50,000 target goal. That's it guys, thanks for watching, my name's Lawrence, and my name's Josh, we'll see you next time here on Indie Former.